Hey everyone, how's it going? This is Rahim Mehta bringing you another video today on the latest update for Lightroom for the year 2021. Yes, that's right, Adobe just released the Lightroom Classic version 10, which is available for you to update on the Adobe Creative Cloud. And amongst all the other features, I specifically want to talk about the color grading tool. So you remember how we had split toning in the previous version? You had sliders for highlights and shadows. Well, it has been changed and replaced by color wheels. Now, if you've ever edited videos in Premiere Pro or DaVinci Resolve, you will be kind of familiar with the layout. And I think this changes the color grading game for Lightroom users altogether. If this is your first time on the channel, Welcome. I hope you guys learned something today. Please subscribe to this channel and without wasting any more of your time, let's jump right into it. So here we are in the new Lightroom Classic version 10. If you just scroll down, instead of split toning, you will have this entirely new panel called color grading. I'm going to explain all the options available with the color wheels with the help of this gradient. I would suggest you stick around for that or I'm going to just leave timestamps to the actual edit of the portrait and landscape photograph. So over here you have your shadows, highlights and midtones. In the split toning you had these as sliders and you did not have midtones. You only had these two. These three options are essentially the same, it's just these color wheels individually so you can be more precise with them and they have some additional tools with them which I'll explain later. The last one is your global color grading which is basically once you've done all your color adjustments in the highlights, shadows and midtones you can just add an overall global color grade. So I'm just going to explain how this works. So let's take, I'm going to give the shadows a magenta tone, I'm going to give the midtones a blue tone and highlights a green tone. Now as you can see you have three different color shades. This is your this is your extreme blacks and this is your extreme whites so you don't see a lot of color over here and that's how you basically color your images. The more contrast you have the more of a variance you will get. So the balance option is just like how it was in split toning if you take it towards the left it's going to hamper the shadow color if you want to take it way to the right it's going to overcompensate with the highlight color so that is exactly how it used to be in split toning. In terms of blending, if you take it all the way to the left, it kind of starts to not blend into each other. You can clearly see the magenta, the cyan and the lime green we have over here. However, let's say if I just take this to a pink color, as you can see this is pink and I bump up the blending all the way to 100, it almost dissipates the blue. So basically what it's doing is just like blending all of these colors a lot more. You can obviously play around with them once you're editing. So let's go ahead and edit the shots and I'm going to explain the further tools. So I'm going to be editing this using the individual views. It gives you a lot more options and I'm just going to quickly explain to you. This is just like you're split toning your hue and saturation. With the wheel, if you take it to the edge, that's where the saturation starts increasing for the color. If you bring it towards the center, that's when the saturation of that color will start decreasing. You have this luminance panel which did not exist before, which is just luminance of that color and you can just change that just how you do with your HSL to give you a more beautiful color grade. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to give this like a bluish shadow look that looks good and I'm going to reduce the luminance slightly. Okay so you can see I've added like a sort of a bluish tone to the shadows and I'm going to go to the mid-tones. I'm going to add like a like a yellowish tone to it that looks good to me. I'm going to bump up the saturation and bring the luminance down just to give it like a nice moody editorial look. As you can see it's already starting to look pretty nice. I'm going to go to my highlights and I'm going to give it like a slightly greenish tint. So this is your before shot and this is your after. You can obviously add like a global color grade. So let's say if I wanted to turn into this like a reddish tone or like a more yellow tone and stuff. But that's the global slider if you want to use. But yeah, this is what we did before and afters. Now next we will edit a landscape photo. And so look at this image. It looks pretty good. I want to just 
add more different colors to it so what i'm going to do is to the shadows which will be mainly this part i'm going to give it like a more greenish look so i'm going to bring it and just like about this thing that looks good i don't want to oversaturate the greens and stuff uh what i want to do is i want to add some of a yellow tone to the mid tones which will probably be the mountains that as you can see i have like a nice yellow tint on the mountain and lastly i want to add like a blue tone to the sky because obviously that's in highlights Just so I can make it more bright, I'm going to increase the luminance a lot. And yeah, so this is your before image and this is your after. And that's about it. That was a quick and short tutorial on the new color grading tools in Lightroom. If you like this video, please let me know in the comment section below. Subscribe to this channel and I shall see you guys next time. Take care.